Mike Parley. We're in Hollyville, Texas tonight, and this is a rainfall. This is one of my favorite features and one of my favorite applications. So the cool thing about a rainfall is we have some wind. It's less effective than a sheet of water. It's definitely effective when you put it 10 feet up in the air, but not as much. The other thing is the sound sounds like rain, which is the most pleasant sound that people can enjoy. What we have here is a double rainfall. So up in the beam, you can see there's two eight-foot sections that make up this span of 16 feet. So this structure is a 20 by 20, which is the largest you can make with a single beam that's a normal beam, uh, unless you get a specialized. So this is a 20-foot wide structure, which has a 16-foot rainfall in it. So the cool thing about here is you can sit, you get kind of evaporative cooling off of the structure uh, because the wind goes through it. So it's special from a visual standpoint, from a sound standpoint. Um, it's a really cool water feature. Here, we built the columns on a tanning ledge. In doing such, the pool cleaner can't wrap around the columns, so we don't have a problem with the maintenance aspects. Now, you do columns of water, otherwise you're going to hate because the pool cleaner will wrap around it, unless you have an in floor cleaning system. So, this pool does not have an in floor cleaning system. So, what is it? It's a rainfall coming out of an arbor. You can also have it come out of a cabana roof. But you have to have it heated up in the beam, which is made to look solid, but it's actually uh, hollow, so we can put the unit inside of it. The other thing is with full masonry all the way up, we can hide all the plumbing lines inside the column. In fact, one plumbing line comes up this column, the other plumbing line comes up the other column. Hi, Carly. We're in Collegeville, Texas tonight. We're enjoying the rain. So you have a great evening. We'll talk to you soon.